We're looking at the Logitech G700S gaming mouse. Uh, it's one of the newest mice in their G line. And this is built solid. Uh, there's a lot of really interesting features here and uh, a lot of buttons. A lot of their newer uh, mice you know, fall into the same category here. They're using really high quality parts. Now on the top surface of the mouse, we have a hydrophobic coating and that's really gonna help if your hands get sticky or sweaty. Uh, they're not gonna stick to this mouse. Uh, so that's really nice. And also on the side, the texture is um, very rough. It, it's got a really nice grip on the side. So it's, it's a very heavy coating and it's also uh, fingerprint resistant. So let's go ahead and talk about what we have on this mouse. There are 13 programmable buttons that'd be great for MMOs, strategy games. Um, you can use this for Twitch games as well, and I did try it out with Bioshock Infinite and a few other Twitch games, so I'll talk about that in just a second. The CPI is ridiculous, uh, 200 to 8200 CPI, and it's using the Avago ADNS 9800 sensor, and it seems that they've fixed most of the problems uh, that plague the 9500 sensor. So it's, it's similar to that one, but it's a step up. The max acceleration on this is 30 Gs, and the uh, max speed is up to 4 meters per second. Now, we do have onboard memory and it can store up to five profiles. Now let's take a full tour of the mouse. We have four thumb buttons and those are all shaped differently uh, so that you never accidentally press the wrong button. And they're also just above where your thumb rests. So your thumb has a nice resting point and then you can reach up and easily press any of those four buttons. There are three LED lights uh, just above that and those are used to show you um, when the mouse is either charging. It'll show you the battery level with the press of a button if you program that in the uh, software. It can also show you what uh, CPI slash DPI setting that you're using. Just above that we have of course our left and right mouse button and our scroll wheel in the middle. Now just beside the left mouse button we have three additional buttons. Now these also come in three different shapes so that you never accidentally hit them and they're all fully programmable. The scroll wheel is a ratcheted hub. It's got a nice click. You can press the button behind there for a free spin. The button behind the, uh, the free spin toggle is another programmable button. The scroll wheel can also be depressed for a click press to the left or press to the right for additional clicks. Primary buttons feel really good. They're very clicky. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what switches they were using, so I contacted Logitech and I'll read a quote. They say, while our policy is not to share specific components, we do use microswitches rated at 20 million clicks on the primary keys for all of our new Logitech G mice, so durability is obviously key. Uh, at further inspection, we notice that these are high endurance metal switches. That's instead of the typical plastic switches that you would see. Uh, so these are going to last a really long time and they feel really good. In fact, some of the best uh, clicks that I've felt on, on any mouse to date. On the bottom, you can see we have the standard uh, Logitech polytetrafluoroethylene feet. So you'll see that on a lot of their mice. Uh, and then we have an on and off switch if you want to save your battery. And beneath that is a compartment where your rechargeable battery is. It does come with one rechargeable battery. The weight of the unit with the rechargeable battery is 153 grams. The dimensions in uh, length, width, and height are 126 by 80 by 46 millimeters. Now with standard use, you should be able to get about 18 hours on this battery. Now let's talk about wired versus wireless. Uh, I typically do not like wireless uh, for, for gaming. The cord that comes with this fits securely in the front, it snaps on. However, the cord is stiff and it's heavy and it creates a lot of drag for the mouse. So in my opinion, you should never use this mouse with the included cable. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is either use any micro USB cable will work. You can get a small one. It's not gonna be uh, as secure because it does not snap in, but it'll allow you to move around uh, much more freely. Now, the the wireless is actually really good. It's 2.4 gigahertz and um, it's got a one millisecond report rate, so that's really impressive. And uh, the distance that you can take this away from the uh, computer is 30 feet. I played Bioshock for a long time. I did it wirelessly and I had no problems at all. In fact, at some points I forgot that I was using a wireless mouse. Now, I do want to point out that um, some users and some people on the internet have been having trouble uh, using the mouse wirelessly with the included software or with the software you can download from Logitech. Uh, I didn't see any of those problems, but if you do have the problems, just plug it in while you're programming the mouse. Uh, and then when you're finished, you know, you can unplug it. Now you can store five memory profiles on board. So there is some onboard memory. Uh, and then there's a lot you can do with the software. I'm gonna make a separate video because the software works with multiple Logitech G series products. So you guys can check out that video here. Uh, just, you know, a quick tour of the software. And um, if you're looking for a smaller mouse with perhaps some more options, you may wanna consider the Logitech G600 and you can check out that video uh, here. So all in all, it's a solid mouse with some uh, good features, ludicrous uh, CPI, very ludicrous C CPI. If you have any questions, you can always email me, inbox at techsyndicate.com. If you want to check out the price and availability, you can do so. There's a link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.